my chest, that was kind of the first thing I noticed, um, and the dry cough, and then the fever, the chills. And tonight, we're hearing from more people recovering from the virus. A family of four says they came down with the coronavirus just last month. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore is uh, joining us now, and she shares a story on what they want others to know. Shante. The family is fine resting at home tonight, Kevin. When I spoke to the mother, you could hear moments of feeling worried and scared, especially about what to expect with two young kids. But they want their story to give people hope when so many of us are on edge. On March 20th, Christina Carries noticed the tickle in her chest and dry cough she had the day before turned into something else. Immediately when I woke up that morning, I was like this, you know, I just, I just, you could just feel it in your chest. It was just a very, like, something I never felt before. The mother of two is one of eight Portland residents testing positive for COVID-19. She's bounced back from the virus as she relives what the last few weeks were like for her family in an online post. As expected, she experienced a fever, chills, and respiratory problems. When I had the shallow breathing, I, you know, noticed that, um, it was just, I couldn't get like a full breath. Like I couldn't get the air like all the way down. It was just kind of like stopping. Kiri's became sick after her husband, who works in emergency restoration. A week before they got sick, she says he entered a house in Fairfield County. Soon, their children also became ill, experiencing something like a bad flu resting all day. The family relied on flu and cold medicine while using a humidifier. She's sharing her family's story tonight with Eyewitness News, knowing every case is different, but wants people to remain vigilant. Pay attention to those subtle things that don't seem like it could be a big deal and, you know, just stay home um, if you're feeling any of those things at all and prepare. Oddly enough, Christina's test results did not come back until she felt better. She hopes her story will give some people peace of mind, but she knows outcomes are different for people in the high risk category. Even though the family's been given the all clear, they're no longer contagious, they prefer to stay home still. In the newsroom, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.